How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with a very exciting video for you all today. Because just yesterday, the people that run EVO hosted their annual live stream announcing which games are going to make it as part of the main game lineup. For those of you unaware at this point, EVO is the biggest fighting game tournament in the world for almost every fighting game. And it's because of that exact reason that people get so amped up to see their game announced as part of the main lineup, and in some cases very bummed out when they don't see it make it as part of the main lineup. And of course, these highs and lows usually come along with every announcement. Last year it could be felt with the absence of Marvel Infinite, and we'll get to this year's case later on down the line in this video. For now though, let's take a look at the 9 games that were announced as part of EVO's main lineup. Now of course on this list you do have some games that were pretty much guaranteed locks for the tournament. That includes Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, Tekken 7, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. All very much standard games that you were guaranteed to see here. Of course Street Fighter V and Tekken 7 have a lot of legacy behind it, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate brings in a very different audience for most of these games. The event runners actually went out of their way to go ahead and say that they expect this game in particular to go ahead and break some records, and I definitely agree with that. This game is the current iteration of Smash Bros. It's already huge, and I definitely expect it to do major numbers. Right behind those games where I think almost anybody could guarantee that they would be locked in, we have games like Dragon Ball Fighters and Mortal Kombat 11. Now, Dragon Ball Fighters did do record-breaking numbers at EVO last year, but it was a little questionable if it was going to return, just based off some licensing issues that were happening before EVO. Luckily, those all got panned out. Dragon Ball Fighters got its second world tour, so it's very obvious why this one would return. It's a very fun game. Obviously, this channel's super biased. It's my favorite fighting game of all time. Obviously, super stoked to see it. Mortal Kombat 11, obviously being the newest Mortal Kombat, makes sense to make an appearance at EVO. Everybody loves to have an NRS game make it in the lineup. The only reason this one wasn't a 100% guaranteed lock-in in my mind is just because it's not out yet. It will be shortly, though. That's why they have no problem slapping it on the main lineup, and I definitely think it makes a lot of sense. Behind those two, we have Soul Calibur 6 and Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Blaze Blue was actually at Evo last year, it did pretty well, and then thanks to some new updates, the fan base is very into it again. People are really loving this title, so it's great to see it back. And Soul Calibur, while it does seem to be struggling to hit its stride like Tekken 7 has, it still is definitely loved amongst the community and probably will still do pretty good numbers at Evo. And now for the two most out of nowhere exciting games to make it into the Evo lineup, I feel like everybody will agree on this Samurai Showdown and Undernight Inbirth, aka Unit. Man, Samurai Showdown, first of all, isn't even released yet, and it's actually a super niche title. It does look really cool, though. They had an exclusive trailer to show off at EVO, so obviously that indicates that the studio behind it is really making a push for EVO, so I think that's great it got in there. I'm super interested in the title itself, and Eunice just has the most, I'll say, passionate community behind it. It is a nicher title. Uh, it's definitely not the size of Smash Brothers, but the people that play this game love to play it, and it's always a great thing to see a community like that get a big time to shine spotlight at EVO, even if it won't be one of the games on Sunday, which we'll get into later. First though, we have to bring the video back to that point I made a little earlier about people feeling it when their games don't make it into EVO, and I'm pretty sure I put it in the thumbnail or somewhere here, and you guys would already know even if you missed that. It's Melee. Melee has been a part of EVO for a long time now. It's a fan favorite for Smash players. Usually it's always Melee, and then the newest Smash game, this time it's just the newest one. And that's another reason why I think Ultimate will do much bigger numbers. People will support the Smash series in any way they possibly can, and this time it's only going to be through that one game. Now, of course, the reason you might have felt that the drama behind Melee not being included was much bigger than other games that weren't included, it's also because Melee's fans are super passionate, and also Melee has garnered quite a bunch of haters, even players that also play Ultimate, uh, for some reason. I'm not too big into the Smash scene, I really don't get that one. <laughs> Regardless though, there's also some hardcore fighting game players that are really stoked not to have two Smash games, uh, and they're Smash players, like I said, that are pretty stoked that only their Smash game got in, so obviously this caused a huge firestorm on the internet, which is why you're probably sick of seeing the game's name mentioned everywhere, or you're just super upset at EVO. Both are, of course, totally fine things to feel. Regardless though, you can't argue that it not being there is definitely creating quite the stir up. Now that we've covered all that though, we can talk about the separation between even the games that made it into the main lineup, and what I mean by that is usually EVO hosts finals on different days of the week in order to make space for these games in order to give them a bigger moment, and and it obviously just makes it easier to run and spectate. So, some finals are usually held on Saturday, and then some of the bigger games are usually held on Sunday. Unfortunately though, during the stream, the people that run EVO were talking about how last year, the Sunday event ran a little too late, almost to 3 a.m. on the East Coast, so they wanted it to cut down from five games on Sunday to four. So this results in a weird cut of games on Sunday, so now that we only have four Sunday games, the ones that were confirmed were Street Fighter V, Tekken, Smash, 
and Blaze Blue. Now, if you're like me, you're looking at games like Dragon Ball Fighters or Mortal Kombat, and you're thinking, wow, that is crazy. Mortal Kombat and Dragon Ball are going to be huge games at this event. Dragon Ball literally broke the record last year, and Mortal Kombat 11 is the next new big thing. Now, I have seen a lot of people offer up conspiracy theories for this, like Dragon Ball Fighters is still facing some maybe copyright issues. They don't want it being on Sunday in case Evo gets like a TV deal. Mortal Kombat is too, you know, adult for a TV deal. And who knows, maybe that could be it. But I think a bigger reason is since they're cutting it down, they still want to be able to have big events going on later at night. So I think games like Dragon Ball Fighters and Mortal Kombat 11, instead of making that sacrifice and having to be held earlier while people are out doing stuff, I think they're just going to do them on Saturday and a bit later. So while that does suck, especially if you're like me and you really want to watch your game on Sunday, because that's just kind of been the thing you've been doing at Evo, uh, we'll definitely have to change up our schedule. Uh, so make sure you're looking out for whatever games you want to watch and make sure you're staying up to date on the schedule for these things. And that's pretty much all I have to talk about in regards to the Evo main lineup games. I think there's a lot of great choices here. Soul Calibur 6, Samurai Showdown, Eunice. I'm just super excited to see those games uh, get their time to shine in the Evo spotlight. Dragon Ball Fighters, like I mentioned, my favorite game of all time. It has to be there for me. Uh, super sad it's not going to be on Sunday, but I will take what I can get. Tekken, always a fun time to watch. Blaze Blue, gotta support my Blaze Blue. Street Fighter, it's Street Fighter, let's be real. And then Ultimate, which I do expect to break some records at the very least. If it doesn't break some records, you Smash people gotta apologize, dude. What, what do you do? <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> but yeah, guys, break some records, hopefully. Uh, show up, support your games by watching, or support your games by going to register for EVO. The event will be happening in August, so make sure you plan your trips and stuff accordingly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down in the comments and let me know how you're feeling about this lineup, whether or not you love it or hate it, or just anything in between. I kind of want to hear all of it and discuss it with you guys down there. While you're down there though, if you did like this and you like the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you never miss out on another video covering all things fighting games and Dragon Ball Fighters here. Uh, so hopefully you guys would want to stick around for that. Other than that though, thank you for watching this video. I'm Datsudoya. I will see you in the next one.